Hi everyone and welcome back to First Calling Out. As some of you might know, I have started a new job very, very recently, two or three weeks ago. And I would really like to let you know all about it. My first impressions of the first week and how do I deal with some of the things that come up. So if you're interested in this uh, vlog of mine, um, stay tuned until the, until the end. For those of you who don't know this yet, I have um, started my first job as a psychologist in the beginning of October. The way this works out in Switzerland is that you have finished your uh, bachelor's and master's at the university where you become a psychologist and then you start an entry-level job and uh, to get more or less at the same time where you start also your training um, to become a psychotherapist. So my job title is psychologist. Um, what I do is psychotherapy and what I'm learning is how to do that. Also one of the interesting things for my situation is that I am also a Christian uh, and I like to integrate my faith with my life because I don't see any other way to do this. And I am also working at the, actually a private Christian uh, psychiatric clinic, uh, which allows me to, um, to work with my spirituality and with the spirituality of my patients um, and, and see how that flows into the healing process versus also how it can uh, be an obstacle. So I'm really, really excited to talk to you about all of these kinds of things, but not before I tell you that if you're interested to learn about, you know, mental health stuff, um, but also from the specific Christian perspective and how these things kind of work together or don't work together, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to receive notifications on your phone or on your um, laptop or whatever you're working with, then also hit the bell icon, which, um, which if you activate it, you, it will send you a notification about each and every video that I am uploading. So if, you, so if you're into that kind of things, thank you if you subscribe and um, engage in the comments and let me know if you like my videos with a thumbs up and let me know if you did less like my videos with a thumbs down. Generally, I'm just curious about your reactions. Okay, so working in a psychiatric clinic is um, a very special thing, <laughs> I think. And I am sure that a lot of my impressions and the things that I'm learning, insofar as I can talk to about those kind of things, will flow into my content creations. So all the more reason to stay tuned to what is going to be happening to this channel. But the first week was really something special. I think it always is. And in my case, it was kind of good and hard and surprising. So I put this kind of together in a three-point list uh, to keep it short and sweet and um, just kind of let you know how it went. So the first thing that was kind of surprising in a very positive way was that I wasn't as overwhelmed as I thought I would be. Anxious, sure. <laughs> I was really anxious in the first mornings. I would wake up and I'm like, oh my god, I need to go to work. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> I was also anxious about driving because my husband and I chose to attend the and it was absolutely, absolutely necessary out of um, uh, climate protection and financial reasons. Um, and this was the point where it became absolutely, absolutely necessary. So I need to buy a car, but we jumped also that I have spent at least the last six years on um, just not driving on a daily basis. Um, so I had to kind of like, okay, you know, be there, and I was like really, really anxious. Um, it's going all better, by the way, so I'm happy to let you know no accidents on my behalf and start. Uh, but the surprising thing was that uh, I wasn't as overwhelmed. As an HSP, as a highly sensitive person, being overwhelmed is kind of like the thing that I'm always looking out to, and to be honest, it's really something that gives me anxiety in beforehand, so that I know that I have I can regulate the amount of stimulation that is happening to me on, on, on every day. So I'm not sure if it was because um, the people who were supposed to also kind of um, ease me into my, my work description and how you do all the things were really especially careful about that. I can't really imagine kind of getting to know them. I really imagine that 
that could have been something that they did for me. But especially I think it was because I was really aware that I needed to, you know, take it easy and to be patient with myself and to know that, um, yes, I'm going to be anxious and oh my God, yes, I am going to have to allow myself a lot of time and a lot of energy to learn how things work, but it's going to be okay. And, and I think that really helped with uh, not being overwhelmed to the point of, of uncomfortable. And I am really, really grateful for that. And the second thing that was surprising, I felt, <laughs> I never I never heard anybody talk about this, but this is what happened. A part of being anxious and a part of having like these considerations of how it's going, it is going to be working out, I felt something that I never heard anybody describe to me in this conference before. And that was, I felt what in German has really a word mean that says, that is Heimweh. Um, it would be translated something like homemade and it's something that writers uh, sometimes said when they would you know travel somewhere and uh, spend some time in a, in a different place in a different country or different landscape than usual and just feel like they miss um, it's also something that kids who go to boarding school experience and kids who go who for the first time need to go to kindergarten and they are just confronted with the fact of Oh, I'm not gonna spend all my day at home anymore. Um, so that's what I felt, and it was a really weird thing for me to feel because I'm a 30 year old, <laughs> um, and it and it made me feel really, really um, small, but in a good way. Like I felt like that was kind of my inner child um, reacting to the situation. Oh, you've been to school for so long, and it was you were um, able to just stay at home for so long, and uh, and home is so cozy and so warm, and it also made me so 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 thankful for the home, physically, but also you know spiritually, emotionally speaking, that I get to have that feels so cozy and comfortable and so full of love and warmth um, that it makes me feel sad that I don't get to spend all my time just inside my home with my husband. So it made me feel thankful for, for, for realizing how important or, or what a great resource I have in my home, uh, but also just kind of, um, yeah, being there with my inner child, kind of just realizing this is hard for me. I need to learn how to be outside and just, you know, do my job as an adult or whatever. Um, and it was such a precious way to connect with myself. Um, <laughs> but such a precious thing uh, in my own process of healing, which um, I think is a great challenge in my job and in my line of work, that um, I'm, it's all happening together. You are not helping anybody uh, heal if you are also not there for yourself in your healing process. I felt these things kind of flowing together in the last couple of weeks, which was really really something great to see even beyond that my third point that kind of like really impressed on me on my on my first week that was 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 that i i got to have um, already therapy sessions uh with patients two of them um and it was so special uh for me to be there um and the, the, and the reason why i say this is because i was living all of this around of just my realizing all the things that I need to have in my head to do my job well, you know, all the all the things that you have to do and, and, and keep in mind. Uh, also, my own sadness and my own difficulty dealing with not being at home and, and stress with driving and all that. But in that one hour and in that space where therapy was happening, I could feel that from for some reason from within me, I could manage to create a space that was giving the freedom to the human who was there in, inside it <laughs> yeah in front of me but also inside of me um to just let us be human at this point let us not be a number in a system um or a case in a case file or you know w whatever we experience uh, in our systems uh, in our families in our jobs or whatever let us be human and all that that entails and, and sit with the heart, sit with the beautiful, sit with the sadness and the heartache and with everything that was coming from being human. And, and that, was, that is just really something, such an inspiring happening that happens to me 
um, when I am there. Um, that that I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> even as I am there for someone else, all that is happening, uh, all that I, I manage to uh, to allow my patients to be, to do, to say, gives myself the same freedom and the same um, permission to be human, if that's the word for it. So that's really inspiring for me and it's really something that um, helps me and it's really something that, that just kind of like recharges me um, even as work tires me <laughs> as everybody else um, and, and and it's such a such a such an intimate so, yeah I'm, I'm even having a difficulty formulating the words to express this but it's really really something that I feel um, it's as special as, as it can be so so it makes me feel really, really privileged to be able to do this kind of work. Uh, and we'll see how it goes on, obviously. Um, I don't imagine I will always talk so publicly about this, but for now it's like a great um, source of inspiration, joy, and also energy. So that's it about my first week uh, working in a psychiatric clinic. Um, thank you for listening. <laughs> it's so nice that. Um, other people are interested in what I do. Um, if you have similar experiences on either sides of the happenings um, or anything to add to my story, um, do let me know. Do comment with your experiences. I am really, really actually anxious to learn about how is it for others, um, especially for if you are also a highly sensitive or maybe just a normally sensitive person. Um, how is that uh, impacting your work uh, experiences? What are the skills that you're using to, to cope with, with difficult um, days? And um, yeah, just um, let me know what you think. And as always, do take great care of yourselves and see you next time.